we are really interested, or I'm interested in, that's really pretty. <laughs> I'm Carisha Swanson with House Beautiful, and we're building the dream in Colorado. I am right here in Charlotte, North Carolina. My mother is an interior designer, and so she really let us kind of um, unleash our creative spirits early on. I've started my own business in 2013, um, and prior to that, went to design school at the University of Georgia is I love color and I love pattern and I love layers and I love, um, I love art. The two rooms I'll be working on are the children's rooms. I was inspired by um, my situation at home with uh, my two children. We have two kids rooms and two kids but yet they sleep in the same room. So we're left with a room that is essentially unused. So we've created a, um, a teen bedroom and then the adjoining room is um, kind of a bonus room and it can be used as um, a homework room, a hangout room, study room. We're really excited about the way it's gonna turn out and, um, and are excited to see it in person. I am at my local Kravitz Shea room here in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I have my trusty assistant daughter today, Lyles, helping me. I love bringing my daughter Lyles to work with me because it allows her to see what I do every day and I like involving her in the creative process. So we're here to pick out some performance velvets. We are looking to match some jewel tone colors from the Kravit wallpaper that we're doing on our bedroom. We um, are very excited to partner with Kravit on these two bedrooms. They have a wonderful performance fabrics, indoor outdoor fabrics, which are really important for kids' spaces so they hold up and, um, and can be functional. So this is our wallpaper, so it's yep. going to be like this, and then we're going to have our headboards like this up against the wallpaper. Over here is our bonus room grass cloth, and that's where we're going to have the fun curved sofa that's going to be in four different performance velvets from Kravit. Kid proof, bomb proof, life proof, right? <laughs> Thanks so much for being with us here today. We're really excited about our House Beautiful project and really excited to see all these Kravit fabrics come to life in our space. Thank you, Lyles. <laughs> <laughs>
So here's your space, Charlotte. Oh my what? gosh, this looks awesome. <laughs> is this everything you dreamed it would be? Oh, I love it. It is better than I imagined. This wallpaper is to die for. It's amazing. I am so excited to see how it all turned out. I have to say this, along with like this beautiful carpet, you know, I never would have thought to put these two together and yet it is such a fantastic space. I love the combination of the geometric stark carpet with this mural wallpaper. So the lighting that you chose in here yes. is not kind of what people would consider to be traditional mm -hmm. bedroom lighting. We wanted to really expand the space. Yeah. And so that's why we chose this fixture from Circa. So we're really yeah. excited to see how it turned out. We divided up the spaces into a bedroom, which we're standing in now. Okay. So we have two, we'll have two girls that'll be sleeping in this room, Yeah. two double beds. And then the adjoining room is um, really purposed for like a multi multi-purpose room. And so you can lounge in there, you can do your homework in there, nice. you can read quietly in there, you can hang out, you can watch TV. So it really gives you two different spaces to use. Yeah. So they have their own kind of, and it's kind of at the back of the house, so it's kind of their own private land. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's kind of detached from everything else, so they kind of have their own um special space down here away from everything else. Now that you're here, what are all the different layers that you still need to add in to make this these two spaces come to life and feel like a these lot. girls are gonna move in? <laughs> There's a lot that needs to happen from here until, um, until install day. So we've got two beds that are coming in. We have these awesome Stearns and Foster mattress already here. Yeah, yeah. We made a custom um, upholstered headboard that will go the length of this wall. There's a lot to happen in the next, in the next couple days. I love this idea idea of creating a teen bedroom or tween bedroom next to a lounge space that's about hanging out, getting homework done, and quite frankly, kicking the parents out. Close the door. <laughs> I also really think it's so ingenious to mix new and old, vintage and right now. I mean, it's a teenage space. Things are going to get a little beat up. Why not add in things that aren't so precious? She's got a lot going on there, but I want to go see the people that helped create this beautiful carpet that's in that bedroom. Here at Bloomsburg Carpet. Yeah, Stark relies on us for interpreting their designs into a beautiful carpet that can be put anywhere in the world. A lot of times Stark has some pretty historic and tremendous patterns that they like to be interpreted in different textures and colorways. And what's amazing too is Stark is a great combination of timeless classic patterns and then they update it throughout the years to keep colors current, to keep the quality amazing and keep it here and made in the USA. So. We're a third generation business. Uh, we were founded in what? 1976. Our carpets grace the floor of the House, the Senate, the Supreme Court. It's a pleasure to work with some of the finest people that are in the industry. We make the finest quality carpet, not just because we're American made, but because every individual fiber is being touched by all these skilled craftsmen that really dedicate their lives to making beautiful carpet. So the, basically a, a design will come in, we'll interpret it to the weave that we think it best suits, but we have many different technologies to make the product the way we think it's going to look best. And from that You've got custom yarns are dyed, it's put on a loom, and then the product is woven, and then it goes through hand mending and hand inspection, and then it goes through finishing, final inspection, and out the door. Uh, weaving is an art, okay? You don't come turn on a machine and expect it to, to weave carpet. You have to know how to, how to do everything. We're a little bit of weaving nerds, so we get excited thinking about what we can do to change things up. It's cool business. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's that simple. We get excited talking about yeah. it. Well, my favorite part about this business is creating product that's never been made before. New, new colors, new, new patterns. It's a passion. I, I love it. You know, we, weaving is the lost art in many parts of the, the world, but today we're busier than we've ever been. We have had a busy morning. We hit it big at um, the Goodwill and got lots of old books and um, old picture frames we started to hang on the wall. So we're just kind of doing a gallery wall on this um, 
on this desk area. We have the big reveal of our vintage sofa that's coming off of the truck. We had, are still not sure if it's gonna fit through the doors yet, but um, fingers crossed. What we always try to remember in our industry is prepare for the unexpected. So we will figure out whatever happens. We will, we will figure out a way to get the sofa in the bedroom. <laughs> It will all be worth it. This team is amazing and they are making it happen. Now they are um, dissembling the back two um, channels from the seat. So we're gonna take it apart in half and then hopefully that will allow us to get them. Is it too soon to cry? <laughs> hey, hey, awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, Carisha, here we are. Oh, this is so sweet and lovely, but also really sophisticated. <laughs> oh, thank you. We're so excited about how it turned out. So this is fantastic. So when I was in here last, it was carpet, <laughs> wallpaper, fabulous wallpaper. We have been busy the past couple days. Yeah. And it has all come to be come together better than I even expected. You talked about these headboards a little bit. Yes. <laughs> This is amazing. So what is this material? It almost looks like a velour or something. So it's actually a Kravit performance velvet. Oh, nice. So Kravit has really gorgeous performance velvets that are durable for kids' spaces. Right. Um, so we had a custom upholstered headboard wall done and um, each bed kind of um, you know, backs up into it. Yeah. Huh? And so, and it looks like you also had a lot of fun with layering on this we bed. We did. We, well, we like to layer lots of lots of layers in general, but also <laughs> highs and lows. Yeah. So we have this great bedding from Target that is- That's from Target, I yes. love this. We actually, this was one of the first things, we, we picked out the wallpaper and we found this Target bedding online and we ordered it. So those were the first two things that we had. And then we really wanted to mix some beautiful leontine linen. So we nice. did a really special monogrammed leontine linen That's so pillow. pretty. And then these really fuzzy, this. comfortable threads that so I thought were so nice. Fun. You also mentioned before vintage pieces. Do those live in this space or is it your other space? We do have one. So this is a Dorothy Draper vintage chest um, that we got in an auction about a year ago. So, so it was it's in our sitting. inventory <laughs> and we were so happy to find a purpose for it this year. I love designers and their kind of hidden spaces full of merchandise. We have a lot of hidden merchandise in a warehouse back in North Carolina. Yes. <laughs> well, we really wanted to give the girls a great place to kind of relax. So this is a retreat, and we wanted to give them each their own queen bed, mm -hmm. and then each their own dressing mirror. So, so they have a cute little bench from Made Goods underneath the mirrors. Yes. It gives them great space in here to get dressed and, um, and get ready and just kind of do their thing. And then the other room is more about hanging out. Okay, yes. let's head out. <laughs> yeah, all right, let's go see the other room. Hangout room. Oh, look how fun this is. Perfect for our teenage girls. Yeah, yeah. well, we wanted to create a multifunctional bonus room. Yeah. When you're a teenager, you need your own space, and to have something away from parents is, is golden. <laughs> Family time is great, but then also alone time is good yeah. too. <laughs> so this room, you have these kind of three different zones. Sort of talk about like the things, the elements you need to have to create a room that has multiple functions. Mm -hmm. Well, we really it started with like the wallpaper in that yes. room. Started with this vintage sofa. We got the performance velvet from Kravitz, yeah, and we picked four different velvets and um, kind of did like a rainbow effect. What I love about vintage furniture is that the scale is so nice and it's not over oversized. Right. It's, I feel like it was like intentional for you not to put a kind of coffee table here. Yeah, we wanted the room to be flexible. Mm -hmm. So we had these great um, stools from Made Goods and they can be moved around, they can bunch here, they can move to the side and be a drink table. So yeah. they're just, they're easy to move and just kind of functional. And you said stool, can you sit on them too? Yeah, you okay. can sit on them. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> So, okay, so first part for this like multifunctional space was this, this kind of lounge out, kind of hangout pad, yes, right? Yeah. Then behind us, the other part of this zoning. So we had this great custom desk from Grot House made um, in this beautiful ceruced wood and it has a really pretty brass edge. Yeah. I think that a lot of people would think putting vintage into a kid's or a teen space maybe isn't the way to go. But I guess in reality, it's already stood the test of time. This rug has already been around for at least 70 years. So <laughs> right. it's doing pretty well. <laughs> so 
it's actually worth the investment in a space yeah. like this. Yes. And then over here, yes. <laughs> I know we don't quite have your TV in yet. <laughs> The one missing piece. The one missing piece, but this is kind of also like the entertainment area too. Yeah, so you know, everyone needs some time, especially kids, just to relax. Yeah. So for you in this space now, is it time to lounge or go into the other room and take a nap? I think I'm ready to lounge. <laughs> I say let's do that. Yes. I think it's the end of this journey. Sounds good. <laughs> let's, let's take do a it. seat. <laughs> <laughs>